Edinburgh University Students Association has the job of representing all students at the University of Edinburgh. The Students Association is a union of students, independent from the university, and works to make sure students are represented in committees across all areas and levels of the university's structures. Electing student reps to represent your interests is key to the Students Association being democratic. The main elections are in March each year, but there are also by-elections in October to elect postgrad reps, first-year campaign organisers and to make sure all of the other positions are filled for that academic year. You might want to stand in these elections yourself, but, even if not, you play an important part in engaging students in your school in the elections. We expect you to promote both of these official Students Association elections by encouraging other students to vote and have their voices heard. The Students Association is run by four elected sabbatical officers, also called SABs. This year they are, from left to right, Vice President Services Jenna Kelly, President Alec Edgecliff Johnson, Vice President Academic Affairs Patrick Garrett, and Vice President Societies and Activities Jess Husbands. They take a year out from their degrees, or at the end of their degrees, to manage the organisation, sit on committees at university management level, and represent the interests of students on a whole range of issues, from student welfare to curriculum development to the university's sustainability policy. The SABs take a lead role at Student Council, which is the main decision-making body of the Students Association. The SABs also lead three additional groups that take forward actions and campaigns. These focus on academic, welfare and external issues. Students of each individual school elect three school reps, a convener, an undergraduate vice convener and a postgraduate vice convener. They bring students and class reps together in their school to create an academic community and make sure that the student voice is adequately represented in their school. They represent students in school committees and in meetings with the school's senior management to make decisions affecting all students in that school. They work very closely with class reps to run meetings, events and campaigns that are particularly relevant to their subject area. In addition to the sabbatical officers and school reps who you may be working with closely, the Students Association has four liberation groups and four section groups. The liberation groups represent traditionally marginalised groups. These four groups are women, LGBT+, Black and Minority Ethnic, and Disability and Mental Wellbeing. The section groups represent different sections of the student body. These are mature and part-time students, postgraduate students, international students, and student parents and carers. Each liberation and section group has a convener who is elected by students who identify into that group. Both sets of groups run events and campaigns throughout the academic year. All elected reps are expected to attend Student Council, which is open to all students. It is there where student campaigns begin and issues are addressed. All the dates are on the Students Association website so you know when to come along. You can get involved by attending or by letting your elected reps know your views on issues being discussed at Student Council meetings. You can also submit an idea for the Students Association to work on. So far, we've explained how students are represented within the Students Association. Here is how the Students' Association then interacts with the University. All levels of the Students' Association and the University's structures feed into each other. The Students' Association works to make sure that students are represented in committees across all areas and levels of the University's structures. As a class rep, you will attend student staff liaison committee meetings, called SSLCs, within your subject area. You can take issues that are not resolved at the SSLC or wider school-wide issues to your elected school rep to work on. Other issues are better addressed by student groups or committees or by college committees and you should escalate issues as needed. This interdependence shows that student voices are heard and acted upon at all levels of the university and that the work that students do in committees can help shape university policy at the highest level. You can find out more about student representation and ways to get involved on our website or in the Student Rep Forum on Learn.